Hibernation. Hmm. Biofriend should know something about it. Hello, Biofriend. Can you answer some questions about hibernation for me? Of course. Ask away. What does it feel like when you hibernate? Do you sleep in your bed or in a special cave? Wait, Cosmo, I don't do that. Huh? Then how can you answer my questions? I know. I'll run a simulation. What if humans could hibernate? Winter is tough for many animals. Temperatures drop, food disappears, and water freezes. For some animals, the best solution is to skip winter altogether by going to sleep in the fall and waking up in the spring. Scientists call this hibernation. But unlike a human going to bed each night, hibernation takes a lot of preparation. Bee! Since humans don't hibernate, let's study some animals that do. Hibernating animals need a safe place to sleep. Marmots live up high in the mountains. The winters here are so long and cold that the marmots spend over half of their lives hibernating. To make hibernation as comfortable as possible, they snuggle together in burrows lined with hay. The cuddling marmots share their body heat and stay warmer than if they hibernated alone. And since they're hidden away, predators can't find them while they sleep. Animals don't eat while they are hibernating, which means they need to eat as much as possible before hibernation begins. Black bears are champion eaters. In the fall, black bears will eat up to 20,000 calories a day. While blueberries are one of their favorites, they'll eat anything they can find, including dead animals. A black bear will have added about four or five inches of body fat by the end of fall. This fat stores energy that will keep them alive for the next six months. And since they're not eating, they won't poop or pee the entire time. When animals hibernate, everything slows down to save energy. When a hedgehog is awake, its body temperature is about 95 degrees, but this drops to 45 to 50 degrees during hibernation. Its heartbeat drops from 190 to 280 beats per minute to under 14 beats per minute. And instead of breathing 50 times per minute, they only breathe 13 times per minute. Since you'll be sleeping for six months each year, you'll only have six months to finish school, go on vacation, and watch your favorite TV show. Find a cozy place to sleep. Gather all your blankets, pillows, and stuffed animals into a big snuggly pile and invite your family and friends over for a hibernation cuddle. And start eating. You'll need to eat enough food to last for six months. Instead of having three meals a day, try eating ten meals a day. And make sure you have a bathroom nearby. If humans hibernate like a black bear, you won't need to use the bathroom, but if you hibernate like a hedgehog, you'll need to pee twice a month. Would you like to give my human hibernation simulation a try, Biofriend? No thanks, Cosmo. If you say so, bye! Bye, Cosmo! Hmm, which chapter should I research next? Cosmo! Hey everyone, Cosmo here. Before they can hibernate for the winter, many animals need to find a warm and safe place to sleep. Luckily for you, humans don't need to hibernate. But what if you built a cozy hibernation fort to sleep in for one night? Step one, find an adult. Step two, decide where to build your hibernation fort. You want some place where you'll be warm and safe. In the closet? Behind the couch? Step three, gather your supplies. 
Animals use materials like leaves and feathers. You could gather pillows, blankets, or stuffed animals. Step four, build your hibernation fort. Remember, your hibernation fort should keep you safe and hidden and also keep you comfortable and warm. Step five, spend the night in your fort. How did it compare to your bed? Would you want to spend the entire winter in your hibernation fort? Happy building, and we'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!